what is going on good people of youtube it is me chavez back with another prize picks video for you today is tuesday march 28th 2023 and we still got six games going on in the nba today as always i hope this video finds you all doing well and in good spirits we're going to kick things off with uh no recap we already we did that in the early video we're going to kick things off with a quick injury report glance and then we'll get into some q a some comments left by a few of y'all in the early look video comment section and then we'll go into building a six pick flex so if all that sounds good to you stick around drop a like drop a sub click that notification icon to be notified of all upcoming content from me and my channel and without further delay let's jump into that injury report for today all right we're gonna move right now on into some q a yeah i didn't want to read off the names on that report uh most of it's the same from this morning we do have a couple uh, a couple of differences in that report but let's jump right on into the q a i want to start off with driz dre who asked about the jared allen and mobley combo uh asked if i was worried about them with the horford play i just want to make sure that uh driz i want to make sure you got the games uh correct so the wizards are playing the celtics so horford is up against like Porzingis and Gafford, and then Mobley, uh, Jared Allen and Mobley uh, are taking on the Hawks today. So currently, Jared Allen is questionable, and that would make the front court plays of Capella and John Collins a lot better, much more friendly matchup if it's just Mobley in the front court versus Mobley and Jared Allen. But even if both of those dudes played and somebody had interest in John Collins, or they had interest in Clint Capella or a Kongwu. I'll just let you all know that over the last 10 days or so, we've seen a little bit of like, uh, like the, the foot being taken off the gas, I guess you can say, with that front court in Cleveland. They're allowing some PRA props to be hit. You know, guys like Royce O'Neal and Joe Harris, they hit their PA props, PRA props. Chris Dapps Porzingis had a really good game against them when they played the Wizards. So um, it's not the impossible matchup that it was in the you know early part of the year. It's not the best matchup, but for a guy like John Collins, 18 and a half PRA and 22 and a half fantasy points, very low lines. Even even Clint Capella, I think his fantasy or I think his PRA prop is pretty low as well. I think 23 and a half. So yeah, not too worried just because the lines are very low for those Hawks players. And we're just not seeing the same aggressiveness from that Cleveland front court. All right, moving into the next comment, Jonathan No wants to uh, share his six pick flex or a, a part of his six pick flex. So Denny Avija over eight rebounds, Clint Capella over 23 and a half PRA, Bam Adebayo over two and a half turnovers, likes the Trey Young taco, and then he's gonna take two picks from this video. Appreciate that. I hope. Um, I hope I give you some good picks today. <laughs> I hope you hit a clean sweep on your six pick flex, Jonathan. Ferrari T says that the Luca information was out early. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Um, here's the thing though, when I see the information and I start taking my notes and I jump right into recording the video, then I do all the uh, editing and post and get everything ready. And by the time it's uploaded on YouTube, maybe like an hour or so has gone by. So there's there's a chance that i miss news while i'm doing all that and i go into creating a video thinking i'm like 100 percent up to date so it happens from time to time where you know news gets released and i don't see it in time or when it does get released you know um or when i when i see it i think that it's recent when it's really been out for a couple of hours so uh carter franklin wants to know about scotty barnes and luke Kennard. so i actually got those two dudes pulled up on the screen uh let's talk a little bit about scotty barnes rebounds he wants to know about the under and then the over on canard's first half points let's start with scotty barnes rebounds today versus the miami heat currently 25th in the nba versus the small forward position over the last 10 games scotty barnes has hit six or more because now that line's dropped from six and a half to six he's hit six or more in four out of uh 10 contests so we need him to hit five today so if he hits six you don't really win that prop it kind of just voids out but if you go under you need five or less so i mean 
six games he's gone five or less i honestly personally would like to see that line at six and a half because then even if he gets you six he still falls under now you have a little less cushion for that prop but honestly if you if you were set on playing this prop and you like the under i say go with it because it's um it's not like a it's not a cupcake matchup for him he has a lot of competition on his team for rebounds um and he hasn't been consistent with getting six or more over the last 10 games. If you want to expand this view and see what it's been like over the past 30 games, I mean, it's a pick 50% chance of him hitting this prop and 50% chance of him not hitting this prop. So if, if you had to play this, you are set on playing this, definitely go under on Scotty Barnes, six rebounds today. And then Luke Kennard, First half points. Let's pull up Memphis, Luke Kennard, and toggle this down to first half. Over the last nine games, Luke Kennard has hit this prop in five games. And he's exceeded this prop, first half prop, by, I mean, like, double, triple, right? Five and a half is his prop today, not six. 12, 9, 12, 11, eh, more like double, not triple. Playing at home versus an OKC team that allows a lot of percentage, a lot of production from three and is dead last in the NBA versus small or uh, shooting guard defense. Yeah, five and a half, that's, that's two threes, right? That's two threes. How many threes is he averaging per half? Over his last five, he's giving you basically five three-point attempts in the first half. Yes, I, I say go over on Luke Kennard's five and a half first half points. All right, let's get into building out this six pick flex. We're going to start with the two plays from this morning. Al Horford over seven and a half points. And we had Franz Wagner over his four assist versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Those are going to be our two first, our, our first two picks for this six pick flex. We're going to add in the Trey Young taco. We're going to go over on this one. So there you have it. Those are your first three props on the board today. Now let's uh, let's figure out how we want to complete this construction. So I have a few props that I'm liking for today. We can go a few different ways with this one. Um, for our fourth pick, we're going to stay in that Boston Celtics and Washington Wizards game. And we're going to pull up Malcolm Brogdon's PRA. 18 and a half PRA. I like the over on this one. Let's find out why. All right. So over his last 10 games, Malcolm Brogdon, let's switch that to full game. Malcolm Brogdon has hit this prop in seven out of, out of his last 10 games. Super positive history versus Washington. He's exceeded this prop two out of two times versus this team. We'll filter out and see that he's gone for 29 and 27 in those contests now this game is being played on the road i don't know how in tune you are with malcolm brogdon splits but man this dude is a road warrior eight out of his last 10 games he's cleared this away from the garden he's clearing this currently washington ranks 15th in the nba versus shooting guards and they've not been even playing this well over the last couple of weeks so just a really favorable, friendly matchup for Brogdon, 18 and a half. As long as he's given us in the mid 20s to upper, you know, mid 20s to high 20s, I, I think he's going to grab this for us. He's going to get this for us. I don't think this is going to be a sweat for us. So that's going to be our fourth pick, Malcolm Brogdon over 18 and a half PRA. For our fifth pick, we're going to go back to the Memphis and Orlando game. I'm going to pull up Jaron Jackson's. PRA, first half PRA, 15 and a half. I like the over on this one. All right, 10 game log for Jaron Jackson Jr. Gone over first half PRA, 15 and a half now. Seven out of his last 10 games. Struggled against Atlanta, struggled against Dallas, and struggled against Dallas in back to back games earlier this month, about two weeks ago. Yeah, um, no, I like this prop a lot. This is a this is a good spot for him. Again, no John Morant tonight, or let's just say he's not going to play because he's doubtful. No John Morant tonight. Uh, aside from the four straight games, he's hit this prop 
at home. There you go. Four straight games, he's hit this prop at home. Uh, without John Morant in the lineup, J Jaron Jackson's usage, I had to like double look, triple look. Jaron Jackson's usage rises from 5% to 29.5%. That's a that's a 30% jump, man. 30% usage rate, man. No, that's not even a 30% jump. <laughs> I don't want to do the math on that one. It goes from 5% to 30%. That's 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 incredible, man. So the Memphis Grizzlies are playing a lot of their offense through Jaron Jackson. He's he's doing a lot of great things, especially in the first half. I mean, breaking it down, these are his point totals at home over the last four or five games rebound totals four four five and seven not really known as a as a strong rebounder so he's basically hitting his pra prop in points alone if you had interest in his first half fantasy or just fantasy alone i mean he's obviously just a monster at blocking shots so the, the upside is incredible with his uh with his block shots and steals mainly his block shots but i have a little bit more interest in his pra because I believe he can just get this for us in points alone versus versus an Orlando defense that eh, I mean they're middle of the road they're not the they're not the softest matchup they got two big bodies in the front court in in Bancaro and and Wendell Carter Jr. I, I just like this prop too much for Jaron Jackson Jr. at home so give me the over on his 15 and a half points rebounds and assists and that currently is one two three four five we got one more play to talk about and we're gonna go over to the charlotte and okc game and talk a little bit about nick richards 23 and a half pra i like the over on this one taking a look at his 10 game log i know it doesn't look all that great but i got some notes for you all right number one no mark williams tonight in the lineup steve clifford is doing some crazy stuff where he's resting uh, rotating the centers in you know per game so tonight is is Nick Richards turn to start and and run run you know the five in games where Nick Richards has seen 26 plus minutes he's averaging 26 and a half PRA so I'm really focusing on these games like these games versus um, Dallas New Orleans Indiana you had Cleveland like all these, all these games where he's giving you minutes, not being taken out, not splitting rotation, you know, with other players like 19 minutes, 13 minutes, 22 minutes. No, only only games where he's giving you significant floor time. He's he's putting up 26 and a half PRA. I always like to just see what this looks like on the road. So two out of the last three road games gone over this hooked it. In that last game against Dallas what happened in that game versus New York another another game where he played less than 20 minutes I don't want to look at those games I want to look at the games where he's giving you 25 26 plus minutes so when he gets that opportunity he's going to produce Charlotte is also going to be down a few players so no Rozier we got Gordon Hayward currently doubtful just less players on the floor to grab rebounds less players on the floor to take shots I think we see Nick Richards crash the boards, get you a double-double versus an OKC defense that's 30th in the NBA in rebounds allowed and 30th in the NBA in center defense. Give me the over on Nick Richards, 23 and a half PRA. And for this one, I'm going to put $7. My voice has been cracking all morning. I'm going to put $7, 10 cents on this. Big, big money on this one. Just to recap it, Al Horford over seven and a half points, Franz over four assists, Trey Young over his 21 and a half points, Malcolm Brogdon over his 18 and a half PRA, Jaron Jackson over his, Jaron Jackson Jr. over his first half PRA 15 and a half, and Nick Richards over his 23 and a half PRA. Let's lock it up. All right, and for our second six pick flex, I said we're gonna do one without Trey Young in there. And who I wanna replace him with is gonna be none other than FVV. Fred Van Vliet, 20 and, a, 20 and a half points today versus the Miami Heat. Give me the over on this one. All right, taking a look at Fred Van Vliet's 10 game log, 
Minus 120 odds to go over this line. Six out of his last 10 games. This game is being played in Toronto. So let's toggle this to home. Hit rate, five out of his last 10 games at home, but super positive history versus Miami. Checking this out, this season he's gone over this one time back in November, going back to last, last season at home versus Miami, three straight games of hitting 20 plus points. Now, if we unfilter the splits and take a look, with, take a look at his game log versus Miami, Dating back to the 2021-2022 season, five out of seven games he's gone over. Facing a Miami team that, again, we already know this, amongst the bottom of the league in three points allowed, three pointers allowed, three point percentage allowed, and point guard defense. So we're just attacking a friendly matchup here. We're attacking positive history here. And we're attacking a player who, um, who's been on a roll as of late. I mean, out of his last five games, he's hit this four out of five games. So we're gonna replace Trey Young's taco with Fred Van Vliet's 20 and a half points. And this is gonna make up our second sec, uh, six pick flex of the day. We're gonna keep everybody else in there the same. We're gonna roll with another $7.10. These are all plays that I personally wrote up, that I talk about, that I provided to you all in an early video and these are all just to show you plays and I'm not just telling you to play or suggesting you play and giving you you know facts and tidbits but I'm actually playing them myself so with that being said ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for today's final look video we answered some questions we updated ourselves on some injury news and we put together two six pick flexes Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, checking this video out, hanging out with me, talking player props over on Prize Picks. Drop a comment below, letting me know who your props on the who your favorite props on the board are, and also let me know what you think about these two six pick flexes that we put together. And as always, thank you so much for all the continued support, the likes, the subs, the comments. Truly means a ton, and helping this channel just get a bit bigger every single day as we push, push, push towards 4,000 subs. Thank you all so much. Best of luck to you all if you're telling any of these plays. Best of luck. And until tomorrow's early look and research video, Chavez is.